Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about two really awesome boost pedals. The Spark Mini Booster by TC Electronic and the EP Booster by Exotic Effects. Honestly, I like both of these pedals. They both kind of sound different and the price is obviously a little bit different. When I originally bought the Spark Booster, I just really just wanted a boost pedal. I didn't want anything fancy or anything like that. And this is honestly the best and least expensive boost pedal on the market in my opinion. It's super simple to use. It's just one button and believe me, with both of these pedals, I wouldn't see any reason why you'd have to move it past 12 o'clock because they're both really, really loud. Right now, personally, on my pedal board, I do use the EP booster and there's a few reasons why, but the Spark booster is really just as good volume-wise. If you went with either of these pedals, they'd both do the same job very, very well, which is give you a lead boost, basically. So even though both of these pedals are really awesome, they do have some slight differences, which might lead one person towards one as opposed to the other. So let's get started, and we're gonna put these pedals head to head. So I'm just gonna start out with a basic lead tone, right? Right, so now I'm gonna put the spark booster on top of that. Now I'm going to try the EP booster. So even though these are both boost pedals, they both sound a little bit different to me. The Spark sounds a little bit brighter and then the EP booster sounds a little bit warmer and darker. So let's try this again. I'm in the key of A and I'm going to sound like every musician trying out a guitar in a music store ever. So. Right, now I'm going to try the Spark Booster. Now I'm going to try the EP Booster. So the Spark Booster is pretty simple. It's really just one button and it has one knob where you can make it loud or soft. And that's about it. But the cool thing about the EP Booster is it has switches on the inside of it so you can get a few different tones out of it. So this is just the basic lead tone starting off, okay? And then I'm going to put the spark on top of that. Now I'm going to try the EP Booster and this is the default settings. So I'm going to do what I just did before, I'm just going to start out with the sound of the amp. I'm going to put the spark on top. Now I'm going to play the EP booster when it's on vintage mode. So one reason why I love the EP Booster on the Vintage Mode is because it just kind of takes your tone from here to here. It, it makes it sound much wider than it actually is. So uh, let me play this example for you. I'll do like some sort of... You know, like a 2-5 progression just kind of moving it around. So when I put the EP Booster on on Vintage Mode, it sounds like this. So it made it sound a little bit more jazzy almost. It just kind of widened the whole tone of the amp. So now let's test these pedals out with the clean tone. So just the amp sounds like this. So here's what it sounds like with the spark. Now here's what it sounds like with the EP Booster on vintage mode. And this is the EP Booster on the default settings. So once again, let's go back to the Dirty Channel. So here's the distortion straight out of the amp. Now here's what it sounds like with the Spark Booster. Now here's what it sounds like with the EP Booster on default mode. 
One thing that the spark booster does that the EP booster does not is that with a spark booster, you can just like press down on the button and just let go and it'll turn on and off. So this has a really cool practical use actually. Let's say I'm doing a riff and I just want one part of it louder at the end and then I want it to basically turn off immediately. I could use the spark booster for that. So if I'm doing a riff like this, Now the EP Booster has three settings. It has the default mode, it has the vintage mode, but it also has a mode called Unity Gain. One thing that's cool about the Unity Gain setting is it sort of takes a little bit of boost off of it, and what it'll do is it'll sort of bring out the best of the amp. So right now I'm not gonna be using the EP Booster as a boost per se, but I'm gonna use it to sort of add some color to the existing tone of the amp. So if I'm just gonna kind of, I don't know, improvise a riff. <laughs> So now I'm going to put the EP booster on top of that. So you can probably tell right now that there's a little bit of a volume boost, but you can even that out with the knob and everything. But the thing is, is that the pedal just sort of brings out the amp a little bit more. It sort of adds color to it in a good way. So what did you guys think? Um, I personally like both of them. I wouldn't say one is necessarily better than the other. They're just slightly different. For the money, the Spark Booster is amazing. I really can't say anything bad about this pedal at all. And the EP Booster, it's a little bit different. And to me, it's also worth the money. But like I said, I got this first. And then I just heard so many good things about this. So I ended up buying this one. And I gave it a try and I love it. And like I said, this exists on my pedal board now. My name is Daniel Repric Peter. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this and different lessons, different reviews and stuff like that, then you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. See ya.